Wow, wow, wow. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So we know the World Boxing Organization, better known as the WBO, President Mr. Paco, they have now officially ordered Sebastian Fundora, the Premier Boxing Champions, PBC and TGB Promotions, Tom Brown Promotions, who is the promotional company for the PBC, to now make sure they start negotiations right now for Terrence Bud Crawford. Now, Tim Zhu just defended his WBO title against Sebastian Fundora in a unification. Not really a unification bout because Tim Zhu nor Sebastian Fundora held the WBC title. But now the WBC title was vacant by Jamel Charlo. Now Tim Zhu face off against Sebastian Fondora for Tim Zhu's WBO title and then as well as the vacant WBC title that was vacated by who? It was vacated by Jamel Charlo, right? Initially, uh, Sebastian Fondora was supposed to fight on the undercard of Tim Zhu versus Keith Thurman and the WBO title was not going to be on the line, okay? Then when Keith Thurman tore his bicep, that replaced, they replaced T Keith Thurman with a ready-made 154-pound junior middleweight title contender in Sebastian Fondora, who was already training and already on the undercard, okay? So Sebastian Fondora, they just said, well, you come up to the main event, and now we'll replace you with the guy that knocked you out in your last fight, Brian Mendoza, will face the opponent you were supposed to face off against for the vacant WBC now interim title, now they moved up the WBC super title to that fight. So Tim Zhu faced off against Sebastian Fedora. It wasn't really a unification battle, right? Tim Zhu, in about the third, the second or third round, he suffered, second round, he suffered a gash due to a, a elbow. He ran into Sebastian Fedora's elbow. Now keep in mind, Tim Zhu is five foot eight with a 70 inch arm reach. Sebastian Fedora, six foot six with an 80 inch arm reach. So he is nearly a foot taller, okay? And he has a 10, a 10 inch arm reach advantage. So Tim Zhu was preparing for a five foot seven and a half, five foot eight Keith Thurman with a 69 inch arm reach, who is actually slightly taller or the same height as with a slightly longer arm reach, who is a orthodox fighter. Then he changed that in 12 days to a six foot six southpaw with an 80 inch arm reach. So Tim Zhu, he lunged in, he came in, and Sebastian, he ran into Sebastian Fedora's elbow. And it split the top of his head. From that moment on, instead of going to a no contest, they continued to fight. It went 12 rounds. Tim Zhu lost a split decision, right? I predicted that Tim Zhu was going to lose a split decision anyway, but he loses a split decision. Sebastian Fandora, Tim Zhu was leaking. Now, Sebastian Fandora nose was bleeding and his lip was bleeding. Typical. But Tim Zhu uh, shockingly lost, right? Now, we expected to see... Terrence Crawford, who petitioned February 26th and officially March 4th to be the mandatory for this belt. Terrence Crawford was then put in position to fight the winner because initially he was supposed to have his rematch clause with Earl the True Spence Jr. He didn't have his rematch clause with Earl Spence because they cited that Earl Spence had the eye corrective eye surgery. Okay, Then he had other medical issues that came up. And he also had the six to eight week recovery period. So that went away. So hence the reason why Terrence Crawford then took the opportunity to petition Tim Zhu for the WBO title. Then suddenly Errol Spence comes out and he says he wants to fight the winner now because he initially had no interest in fighting the winner because Tim Zhu's belt wasn't on the line and he don't want to fight Keith Thurman. Now he wants to fight the winner. So it seems like Samson Likowich, who is the promoter, the manager and promoter of Sebastian Fundora, right? He states that his partnership with the PBC, that Sebastian Fundora and Errol Spence is a much bigger fight in AT&T Dallas Cowboys Stadium. Well, then suddenly Errol Spence says he's going back to Cowboys Stadium. So it looks like this was already in the works. It was premeditated, right? Okay. So now the fact that it was premeditated, okay, Errol Spence now is looking to get the opportunity, but Terrence Crawford petitioned. Now, initially, Tim Zeus and his team said they, they will be willing to vacate the WBO title because now they have the WBC. Now, Sebastian Fondora, Samson Likowick is saying that they will be vacating the WBO. 
because they have the WBC. And he said that Terrence Crawford don't sell 90,000 seats at AT&T Stadium. Well, now the WBO stepped in and Sebastian Fundora is saying that he wants to fight the best fight in the world, who is Terrence Crawford, and is mandatory. That's who he wants to fight. Well, now get this. Samson Likowick is coming out and saying that, well, Tim Zhu deserves the opportunity for a rematch. And uh, Sebastian Fundora won't be ready to fight until November. Wow. Wow. Another way to keep it in-house. Because Terrence Crawford is a network promotional free agent, not signed to the PBC. Tim Zhu is. So they would rather go the route of trying to hold on to the belts and citing a medical injury, right, to say that they won't be physically ready to compete until November, hopefully waiting out Terrence Crawford, and then rematching Tim Zhu, who deserves his opportunity because he suffered an un unfortunate gash over his head, right? So now uh, uh, that makes sense, but because Tim Zhu deserves the opportunity, but you wasn't willing to give Tim Zhu the opportunity if the Errol Spence fight presented itself without the WBO stepping in. Now you want to give him the opportunity? Wow. The politics in the sport of boxing is amazing. Now Tim Zhu, who I just had a conversation with, Stitch Duran, who can't say officially, but he said that it'll take about three months for Tim Zhu and that cut won't reopen. But Sebastian Fandora, who took less punishment than Tim Zhu, Right, is not going to be ready to November, eight months from now. Amazing. And now they want to rematch Tim Zoo. Amazing. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all in one word. So all I got for y'all, I'm gone. Peace.